The drought continues, and this also has some negative effects on area farmers. Here's how. On the corner of County Road 79 and Longoria Street in Banchetti is where you can find James Nemec planting his crops. Nemec says he's been a farmer all his life, and at the age of 65, he's still at it. Oh, uh, we're slower and slower every year. Age catches up to everybody. However, it's the drought that's catching up with his crops. And if it turns off dry, that's probably what we're going to get a paycheck for us from uh, crop insurance this year. If we catch a rain, uh, we'll carry it through the uh, harvest time in the summer. Nemec says he's not too far off. His property is not flat like many other farmers. His area is in beds, which he says gives his crops fair moisture. But others have it worse. The coming uh, months over here, we'd like to see a fairly wet March and a fairly red, wet, wet April to help us with the crop. Yet Nemec says he's hopeful to see rain. This will give his crops life and sprout and he can continue to do what he loves. But if we catch a rain uh, in a week or two, it's, it, it will sprout that seed. So it's up to the man upstairs. We'll see what happens. All right, so now our chief meteorologist Sharon Ray joins us in studio. We were able to see how drought affects some people, but what else should people know? Well, first of all, we are looking at a deficit in rainfall. Of course, that adds to the drought. That and other things are taken into account on what the drought is. And our deficit is up to two and a third inches since the beginning of the year. In 